Hey guys, what is up? BeckBroJack here, bringing you a tutorial slash mod spotlight. So today, we're going to be going over how to actually get mods onto 1.6. Uh, it's a little bit different. I could not figure out how to use Forge Mod Loader. Uh, so I had to go to something called Magic Launcher. So uh, let's go to the actual website where you can get Magic Launcher. Uh, well, the uh, links will be in the description below. So you're going to want to download this. Uh, for the version 1.1.6 1 uh, it could be updated very shortly I'm not sure so you're gonna want to scroll down here and download it for Windows and uh, you're also gonna want to get a mod for 1.6 that you would like to use so I just chose this one called cube world generator so I downloaded this mod uh, there is an installation but this took I could not figure out how to figure it like use it for this so I just decided to use for I mean uh, magic launcher it's really easy to use and it's simple as you will see so once you have those two downloaded, you're going to want to, you can put magic launchers wherever you want on your desktop. And also, you're going to want to keep the mod that you want on your desktop or in like a folder on your desktop. So you're going to open up magic launcher. It's up basically Minecraft. You can, like there's different tabs up here. And then I just like to keep mine on the Minecraft one. See Minecraft 1.1.6. I mean 1.6.1. So after you get on here, you can log in regularly. You can do whatever you want. But if you want to load a mod, you're going to have to go to setup. And I'll just get rid of this right now. Remove. You have to hit add. And uh, you're going to want to scroll to your desktop. If it's on anything different, I just hit this thing called home. And it'll take me to here. And you're going to see your mod or the folder that your mod's in or something like that. You're going to hit open. And it'll open just like this. And uh, yeah, that's basically it. And, um, let's see, you can hit log in, it'll log you in regularly, and, uh, since this is a world generator thing, it doesn't say mods loaded in the bottom left corner, because it is a, uh, it is a, um, thing where it just changes the generator of the world. So, uh, I will see you guys in game, and I will do, show you guys, uh, that it did work, and the actual cube world generator. So, uh, yeah, see you in there. Okay, so now that we got the installation out of the way, let's go into the mod. So this mod is called Cube World. It's an amazing mod. Uh, let's go in and let's check it out. So uh, let's go into single player. You go to create a new world. We will call this world Cube World. Just for fun. Uh, make sure you start it on creative because uh, you could actually spawn in a uh, in like an abyss in the uh, in the void, and you would just keep on dying over and over again. So we set the world type to cube world, make sure cheats are on and everything, and we'll create the new world. So uh, it does take a little bit longer for the world to actually spawn because um, it is a different generator. That's what kind of mod this is, it uh, changes the world generator. So I'm just going to skip right to where the world actually does generate. Okay, yay, it finally downloaded and it kind of generated, yay! Okay, so now we're in the world and now we're falling into the abyss? No! Oh, what ha? Huh? Oh, awesome. Okay, so yeah, we spawned on this cube. Here we go. And we got all these different cubes around. I know it's freaking amazing. It's awesome. We got the desert different cubes. We got the regular grassy cubes. We got ocean cubes. We got little little stone cubes. We got every type of cube you can imagine. So uh, I believe these are the cubes that you want to be able to spawn in. These have trees. Uh, mobs spawn in here at night. Uh, I think they spawn in every single one. Uh, you got ores down below. So you can dig down, get some trees, get some pickaxes. Get down here like a professional digger. Uh, yeah. Find some ores. Uh, there we go, iron. We got redstone. We got all that good stuff. Oh, that good, good. Oh my god, I love that good, good. No, I'm just kidding. So we got iron. Let's carve it out. Ooh, one block of iron, one single solitary block of iron. I will keep you here and I will cherish you forever. I will mark you. You are God. We love you. We'll keep you there for when, I don't know, when the mines come. I don't know. So yeah, we got this world generator mod. It generates a whole bunch of different cubes surrounded by glass or encased in these glass packages. So yeah, we got a thin layer of glass around each one. And this is uh, really cool. It provides like a whole different new kind of look. Get me out of here! Ugh. Oh, there we go. So yeah, it provides a whole different new type of survival mode for you to actually do. You could do a Let's Play for a YouTuber, or you could just play for fun with your friends. I think this is multiplayer. Or you could just generate the world. 
and then uh, move it into uh, your multiplayer server file or however you want to figure it out you could do. So yeah, we got a little ocean biome. Let's see if you can find any squiddies. Am I on easy? Yep, squiddies. Squid. I want to find squid. I want to kill you for sky. Oh, no squids. Let's see if we can find some squids. But anyway, yeah, so we got... Here's a smaller one. They uh, spawn in different chunks. So, ooh, what the heck? Sheep. I've never seen something spawn on top of... Oh, God, I'm sorry. Okay, yeah, so we got these... Get off of here. I'm trying to do a mod spot. Like, God dang it. Get off my... my th yes, it's right. Fall. So, yeah, we got these little, uh, little different chunks of stone, and they have a whole bunch of different ores in them. Let's see. This one has iron, coal... Lapis, redstone, all the different good ores. You can come in here with your diamond, diamond cool pickaxe. Come in here, mine all these delicious ores up, and then you'll be able to live. Oh my, oh my coal, oh my coal. That's a lot of coal. That's at least like 600 coal right there. So yeah, we got these little ore filled stone things. We've got a larger one over here. Seems like we got lots. Is this gold? Oh butter. Oh, that's a lot of butter. And we got, lastly, we got these desert ones. We'll come in here. They're kind of just bland. They have just cactus, uh, these little things. I never figured out what these things are called. I don't really care because they're pointless. Come over here. Oh, come over here. These have ores. Oh, we got some more butter. Oh, give me that good stuff. Oh, yeah. Professional digger right here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Dark abyss. Can't see anything. Torch. Nice. So yeah, that's uh, basically everything there is in the overworld. I believe uh, there's no villages that spawn or anything. Uh, there is actually, I think dungeons do spawn. I think uh, I saw that in like a comment that dungeons actually do spawn. Oh, we got a mushroom village. I'm um, not mushroom village. We got a mushroom biome. I think that's how you say it. Uh, this is actually the first I'm seeing of this. I haven't seen one of these before. This is a uh, part of like the new uh, newest update type thing. We got a mushroom biome where you can get all your mycelium or however you say it, all your good mushrooms, all your flat mushrooms, all your round mushrooms, all your mushrooms in the ground. See, uh, there's normally ores under every single thing, under every single biome. You can find stone with ores, so that's nice. So yeah, there's everything that you can basically find in a regular survival world you can find in cube world, but it just provides a whole different type of thing. So I'm actually gonna try and get from this desert one down to the grass one. So uh, we'll make it a little bit harder because I think I can make this jump. We'll go down here. All right, ready? Let's do a countdown. Let's, uh, let's go right up here. Ready? One, two, three. Oh no! Oh no, I'm not gonna make it! No, 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 no! Oh my god, no! Epic oh. oh, I couldn't make it. It was too far. So yeah, this kind of reminds me of like something kind of like a uh, Survival Lava Island, if you ever saw any Let's Plays of that. Uh, me and CJ actually played it. We didn't do a Let's Play, though. It was before we started YouTube. That was kind of fun. So it kind of provides a whole thing where you actually need to make bridges to different islands. So if you wanted to get, say, this desert island, you need to build a bridge. And so that kind of makes it a little bit difficult. It makes it challenging to actually survive. What is this? Is this actually a chunk of bedrock? Oh. Oh, that's neat. An actual... Oh, nice. Oh, mob spawner actually spawned. And without glass around it? Are you kidding me? Ah, uh, whatever. So, yeah. Uh, what's that? Seeds? How'd they even get here? I guess maybe when I broke this. But, yeah. So, as you can see, everything will spawn. See, I, I think this is I think this is considered a dungeon. Oh, I got a music disc. And I got a saddle. Oh, actually, I got... Whoa! Diamond horse armor? Whoa. Sexy. I'll actually give you guys a seed. I don't know if it's going to be the same. Uh, I don't even know where to look for the seed, but if you can find the seed, then nice. I don't even know if it's on there. What else do we got? Ooh, we got a cool name tag. So that's the stuff from uh, 1.6 update. We got the zombie spawner. So if you can find one of these things, there's good loot in there. And I think that horses will spawn. Everything same will spawn. Animals, everything. So that's basically it for the overworld. And uh, let's actually cut to when we go into hell, the nether. If you prefer the nether I prefer to call it hell or the underworld or Batman's cave or devil's abyss I don't know what you like to call it but yeah uh, I'll make a portal and I will see you all there all right so we spawned in we actually spawned inside a cube yes uh, I was actually playing around with this and last time I spawned out in the abyss 
out in that red dark abyss of fiery hell or underworld or whatever you want to call it I don't know so this one actually seems to have no fire in it that's kind of uncommon normally I see them all with fire and zombie pigmen and all that good stuff so this is like the basic type of biome it's kind of like the grassy biome it's the I think it's the most common I believe if there is commons I don't know so we dig down here there's a whole bunch of netherrack seems to actually go kind of deep uh, you might actually be able to find nether quartz. Uh, I don't know how rare that is, but it's like the same rarity of finding it. I don't know. So yeah, the same thing, surrounded by the glass covering. Uh, we got our portal right there. We're going to stay close to this, or we could just make another one. I don't know. So yeah, this is the first type of uh, actual nether cube. We have the regular netherrack one. Up here, let's see. Yeah, this one has regular fire. And we have m mushrooms all over. And we got a zombie pigmen, so those spawn inside. We got uh, a lava cube with regular lava, and then we got soul sand on the bottom, and we got lots of netherrack, so this is a huge chunk right here. And uh, there's also one more that does spawn, if we can just scroll around and find it. It's really dark. I don't like it. Let's see. Uh, it's, a, it's a glowstone. It is a glowstone cube. Seems like there's is there light over here. What is this? Why is that lit up? But this one seems to have like lots of soul sand. Come on, glowstone cube. They're actually kind of common. I don't know how common. They're. I, I normally see them as soon as I spawn in, as I've generated a few worlds. Come on. Where are the more cubes? All right. Well, I'm just gonna cut to where I actually find one because this is annoying the crap out of me. Stupid mod came and find glowstone biomes. Oh my gosh! I finally find it. I've literally just been flying for probably a good ten minutes. So yeah, this is a glowstone cube. I guess they're, I, I don't know how common they are, like there's really no commonness of different things, but I found it. Here we go. We got just a whole crap load of glowstone, so grab your pickaxe, people. Get ready to mine some glowstone, get ready to get that glowstone dust all up in this jaw. And you just mine all this stuff up. Uh, I believe they come in different sizes, but this one's actually kind of big, surrounded by uh, glass, and you should be able to find lots of glowstones for some reason this one was extremely far away but yeah that's basically it that's the mod in itself uh, there's really nothing else with this mod except it adds cubes I mean if you don't like the mod then why are you watching this video I mean, unless you just love me I'm just gonna t say that you love me if you don't like the video but yeah anyway guys uh, this is the mod cube world by the real go I think that's how I say it again and uh, yeah my name is Specbro Jack I hope you enjoyed this video Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you are new and that you enjoy the video. But yeah, uh, I hope to see you all soon and uh, have a great day. Uh, it should be summer for most of you. Most of my viewers are young, aged, between, uh, hopefully between, uh, let's say, 10 and 22, I, I think. I don't, I don't really know how to check that. Um, but yeah, anyway, uh, see you guys later. Have a great day, and I'll see you guys all next time.